Hello YouTube world! Um, I am back with another common disease that might be caused by a microorganism. So we've already talked about schizophrenia and we've already talked about breast cancer and we already talked about obesity and so today we're going to be talking about diabetes. And uh, But first I think it's important that I start off with a clip from one of my favorite songs. Um, but unfortunately since I have no idea how to get that song into the video and I'm not entirely sure if that's legal, uh, <laughs> I guess I'll be forced to sing you the bit of the song that I want. And you can laugh if you want. And I'll p post the full clip in the sidebar. So this is how it goes. Okay, it's by Weird Al Yankovic and it's called Pancreas. So this is the, the part of the clip. Uh, Don't you know you gotta flow, 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 pancreatic juice flow, flow, into the duodenum, won't you flow, 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 pancreatic juice, flow, flow, into the duodenum, insulin, glucagon, coming from the islets of Langerhans, insulin, glucagon, coming from the islets of Langerhans. Okay, so, <laughs> I'm so sorry, but it's, it's important and it's funny and you should go watch the video because it's way better than... <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, <laughs> okay. On to, on to the video. Okay. So, oh, when I was a kid, I got this virus called Coxsackie 19 while I was camping and I proceeded to pass it on to my entire family, of course. Oopsie doopsie. Uh, so we had blisters all over our hands and all over our feet and we were sick quite a lot of the time. And I think we kept passing it around and around and around. <laughs> Uh, and as weird as it sounds, the, this, this virus actually became part of our family lore uh, in that we were only cured once we moved to Hawaii. So my parents thought it was cured by bright sunshine and heat. Uh, but today uh, we're going to talk about this virus, Kakasaki, uh, Kakasaki B. So the connection between Kakasaki B and diabetes, uh, which is why I sang that song. And if the link still isn't clear, I'll explain it more in a minute. So. Doctors found a link between um, the two diseases, well, uh, Kawasaki and diabetes, when outbreaks of Kawasaki uh, were followed by outbreaks of diabetes. Um, so let's take a, a little look at diabetes. I'm going to go into like the basics of the basics just to make sure everybody's like on the same page. So every cell in your body needs sugar, and sugar is like the fuel that sort of runs your cell. So uh, your body gets the sugar to the individual cells by sending it through the bloodstream, okay? So it's like a little, um, I forget what they're called. But you know in the sushi bars when you go and they have little plates that go along, you just take out what you need and what you want to eat, and then they charge you for the plates or whatever? Anyways, it's sort of like that. So the cells will take out the, the sugar that they need. Unfortunately, um, if you have too much sugar in the cells, then they, um, uh, then the, the, they don't work, or if you have too much sugar in the bloodstream, your body doesn't work, and it's not a good thing. So, uh, your body needs some way to regulate the amount of sugar that's in your, in your bloodstream, and it needs to be a really fine balance. So, your body has a hormone called insulin that makes sure that there isn't too much sugar in your blood. Now, I've said this before, I'll just say it again. Um, some people think that hormones are only involved in sex, or PMS, or puberty, or something like that. Um, but hormones actually do a lot of different things in the body, and uh, one of these things that they do is regulate the blood sugar levels, um, and that's what insulin does. So insulin is made by your pancreas, hence the song, get it? Yay! Okay, um, which of course is uh, the connection. Uh, and specifically, insulin is made by the beta cells in your pancreas, and when these cells fail and they're not able to make um, insulin anymore, uh, you're not able to, to manage your, your body isn't able to manage the blood sugar and then that disease is called diabetes. So uh, this is often an autoimmune response and that means that your own body will kill off those cells. And we need to find out why that is, like why does your body kill off um, those beta cells because that's it's a pretty important hormone to have in your body. I'm sure people with diabetes will agree. So when doctors realized that a lot of diabetes cases followed a lot of Kawasaki cases, they looked at the pancreases of children who died of diabetes and found that in almost two-thirds of the cases, the beta cells had Kawasaki B in them, 
Um, now in science, of course, you always need a control uh, to make sure that the children just weren't exposed to this virus very commonly. So, um, as control, these scientists looked at the pancreases of children who had died of other causes. And what did they find? They found that children who had died of other causes had almost no exposure to Kakazaki. So when looking at um, adults who had diabetes, uh, they also found a similar result. 40% of the people with adult diabetes had the Kakizaki virus in their pancreas, while only 13% of people without diabetes had the Kakizaki virus in their pancreas. But how would this work? How would a simple virus cause the body to kill off the beta cells? At this point, nobody knows, and there needs to be a lot more research done on this. Um, but one idea that's been put forward by a guy named Noel Morgan, and he lives in the UK, um, he says that maybe the virus changes the, the beta cells to, to look uh, like viruses, so that the immune system accidentally kills them off, causing diabetes. Uh, but we still need to do a lot more work in this area. And uh, this is a really interesting line of research, and it's even made it into Wikipedia. There's even a single line in the Wikipedia entry for diabetes uh, that talks about um, this project. So, um, but again, we're finding that an, a microorganism that no one had really given much thought to before might be causing a major disease. And we've already looked at schizophrenia and breast cancer uh, and obesity, as I said before. And uh, this is just a very interesting connection, and I hope something comes of this because then maybe we'll be able to prevent diabetes by giving people a vaccine. Alright, so well, I hope you had a good night or a good day whenever you're watching this, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this little piece of information. And um, as in all the others, I got my information from New, oops, New Scientist. Wait, 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 wait. New Scientist magazine. There we go. And um, I hope you'll rate or comment or let me know how I'm doing. I really, uh, I'm really excited about like letting the YouTube community know about uh, cool like developments in science. And you can let me know how I can better do this by just leaving a comment in the bottom. Okay, good night and uh, peace. Um, but P.S. My favorite part of the pancreas song by Weird Al Yankovic is this part. Um, my pancreas attracts every other pancreas in the universe with a force proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the distance between them. Whoa. And it's, I'm sorry. It's just such a funny song. You have to go check it out. Um, anyways, okay, YouTube world. Good night. Peace. <laughs>